through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 200. 200? Yeehaw! Woo! Yeah. What is that, bicentennial? Yeah, bicentennial. Bicentennial yeah. episode? Yeah. Woo, woo, dropping some $2 words. I feel like words. that implies there's a year involved, but our 200th episode yeah, okay. either way. Fair enough, yeah, you're um, right. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Spencer. <laughs> I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of October 30th. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a pretty good week overall. Yeah, there's not too shabby. I'd say three out of four pretty solid mm -hmm, picks, if mm -hmm, you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with one of the better releases of the yes. week, and that is the Criterion release of Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. Obviously, we're talking the Roman Polanski mm -hmm. classic here, the yes. horror film, Criterion. Those are all excellent yes. things right there. And man, Rosemary's Baby. Talk about a classic when you're talking yes. about horror. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's, it's funny to think about Roman Polanski in terms of the film landscape. Because <laughs> obviously, everyone thinks about him being, you know, yes. evading the law and all sorts of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But actually, back in the day, he was a good director. Very I mean, and this was a classic classic film yeah. so it's sadly forgotten because of all the other legal drama yeah. but you know criterion releasing it for the first time too this is not just a hd bump so wow. i just want to throw that out there so that's wow. pretty exciting nice um, in terms of special features you know it's got interviews with polanski mia farrow uh producer robert evans who's nice pretty crazy in and of himself mm -hmm. you have a, a feature length documentary about the life and work of jazz musician um and composer Christoph Komeda, hmm. who wrote this score for oh, Rosemary's cool. Baby, which is oh, very yeah. memorable, yeah. very, very memorable. And there is an uh, radio interview with author Ira Levin from uh, Leonard Lapote's WNYC program hmm. uh, about the novel that it's based on, <laughs> sequel, the film, all wow. sorts of stuff. Very cool. Rosemary's Baby ish. So it's a, a pretty solid addition, you know, it's got um, a, a HD transfer that was approved by Roman Polanski because he's still alive. Yep. We might forget about that sometimes. But <laughs> Living in alive. exile. Exactly, yeah. Probably why a lot um, of his stuff doesn't still get so, temporary. So, I mean, stuff. considering, you know, the usual Criterion releases, yes. this is one of their lighter ones. Yes. But nevertheless, it's still a pretty excellent release compared to most yes, releases. Yes, definitely. So. <laughs> compared to a lot yes. of the ones we get that come out. Yes. For example, <laughs> our next, next one. <laughs> next one, the campaign. Yes. This is the Will, Will Ferrell, Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. Yes. Um, race. I mean, I will give it credit. It is a Blu-ray, DVD, ultraviolet digital copy pack. Okay. So that's something going for okay. it. Uh, I will state that. Uh, Heidi on our site, mm. Adelaide, mm -hmm. um, has given it a D. Ah. So. You know, take that for what you will, mm -hmm. read the review. And I also say that I was talking to my friend Brandon Jerwa, who's appeared on the audio podcast yes. several times, and he said basically the same thing. They just couldn't get into it at all. So Yeah, it got a, you know, it had a lot of uh, uh, pop, proper buzz and media attention when it came, when it was going to come out, but I it kind of disappeared pretty quickly yeah. once it was out. I think that's telling. Yeah, so... That being said, the special features are kind of weak sauce as well. There's an extended cut, which I think is just a few extra scenes thrown yeah, in to make probably. it slightly longer. Which, let me get to tell you, there are some deleted scenes, which Ooh. probably are then put in the extended uh -huh. cut. So it's sort of like a two for one on that. Gag reel, uh -huh. which I guess, you know, with Zach Galifianakis and Will Ferrell might be funny. Yeah. But more realistically, it's probably a lot of stuff that they are trying to be funny, which is not funny. So Yes, unfortunately. Or just, you know what might be good but probably isn't worth the entire yeah. purchase which is Will Ferrell just saying the same like 15 iterations of the same joke right and then there's lino rama which I presume is like you know sort of sing-along type something or other but none of those features persuade me maybe if you're a hardcore fan of the movie it's worth it but to me no I don't I, I don't see why they wouldn't wait for the next Tuesday, because what would that be like, November sixth or something for voting? Like, wouldn't yeah, I Super guess Super Tuesday. Like, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go yeah, for that? I see that would seem to be smart, yeah. but you know, I don't think anyone watching the campaign is actually voting. <laughs> I also don't I'm think just the throwing that out there. Out cared. Or you know, the fact that like uh, anyone who is uh, buying the campaign on that day is probably That's voting true. as well. So <laughs> yeah, this is probably the election. Yeah. So yeah. I wonder if there's a weird. Uh, 
you know, history of bad uh, home video sales on election day if there's less people out buying or if it probably Maybe. makes like a, the most minuscule of blips. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? The uh, internet probably knows. Oh, uh, yeah. Let us know if you know. <laughs> Another one, one that I have been a big fan, a champion of this year, if you mm -hmm. will, Safety Not Guaranteed. Uh, it's yes. coming out on Blu ray and DVD. Sadly, there's no comprehensive Blu ray, mm, DVD, okay. blah, blah, blah combo pack. But, you know, the movie, the movie is fantastic. It's one of my top 10 films this year, easily. I'm really looking forward to seeing it finally. Oh, it's so good. So I missed good. It in Time travel, how could you go wrong? We did a whole segment yeah. about it because Duplass of Lost Brothers. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Though actually, it's or only just the one. Mark. Just, Dupl yeah. just Mark in this yeah. case. Oh darn! Do just want... only Mark. Yeah. It's like not like one Duplass is better or worse than the other. You get one, you're kind of probably in pretty good waters. No They're both what. pretty excellent. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. In terms of the special features, though, it's mm. a little light. I'm kind of hoping that there will be something like maybe Criterion will pick it up. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe it'll get like a home release, re-release after it gets popular. Or more something. Popular than yeah. Home I mean, granted, it's an indie film, so yeah. I don't know how much. You, usually, like special features are not not something they plan extensively while yeah. making indie films. This film had a seven hundred thousand dollar budget, That's despite having like Aubrey low. Plaza, Mark yeah. Plus, etc., wow. etc. It really has low. a making of featurette, which has some behind the scenes stuff, including talk about the time machine in the movie, which I thought was pretty cool. Probably I think that's only like fifteen minutes though. So okay, it's kind maybe of short. touch a little bit on the. Uh, true story it's based on? Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, because oh. the next feature is the <laughs> ad behind the movie, which actually has the dude who wrote the original nice. ad discussing what uh, it was all about and what the sort of response huh. to it was once he posted it. Interesting. And I'm afraid, actually, I, I hear that's only a couple minutes long, which is really a shame, because I would have loved to hear yeah. a lot more from that dude, but I he's, think that... <laughs> it's probably one of those things the guy's pared down to such a short yeah. story, and I was like, I was drunk, I put it in, a lot of crazy people responded. The end. <laughs> Maybe. I hope it's a lot cooler Me than too. that, though. Me too. I do. But uh, I would love to hear more about that. Yeah. Honestly, I should just go back and make a documentary all about that guy. That'd be pretty fascinating. And then there's a little Easter egg of a, a time capsule where the cast discuss what time periods they would like to go uh -huh. to, which I think is kind of a fun mm -hmm. thing in a mm -hmm. time yeah. machine ish movie. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. Finally, the last one we're going to be discussing is the Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection Limited Edition. Mm -hmm. There's a Blu-ray version of that. Yes. You know, this is another one of those universal ones that mm -hmm. probably is a bit of a money grab. Yes. But at the same time, is kind of an awesome release. I mean... It's if, a good time for Hitchcock, too, with uh, yeah, the movie My coming. Girl and the Hitchcock also. Yep, the yep, two yep different coming ones. right around yeah. now. Um in terms of this, it has... Or that girl, not my girl. That's Macaulay Culkin. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, or <laughs> girl. Girl. Just girl. Yeah. Just girl. There we go. Girl. Yeah. Because I remember it was confusing because <laughs> yes. HBO has girls. So. Yes, that's right. And HBO is who's making that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of this, I mean, it has, I think, all, almost all the Hitchcock movies you probably could want. It's got... But not Shadow of a Doubt, Rope, Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, Psycho, The Birds, um, Marnie. You know, it's got it's got Frenzy. It's got hmm. pretty much almost all the ones. The Man Who Knew Too Much. Hmm. It's got pretty. Some of them are kind of light editions in okay. terms of special features, Probably but some of how them popular they were. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair uh, assessment. You know, for instance, um, Shadow of a Doubt has a little featurette of the making of it because it's Hitchcock's favorite movie oh. or Rear Window has one called Rear Window Ethics an original documentary or there's a conversation with its screenwriter John Michael Hayes hmm. uh, there's a feature commentary by John Falwell the author of uh, Hitchcock's Rear Window the well-made film um, Vertigo's got a feature commentary by its associate producer and restoration team. Wow. Yeah, um, that was a great it's restoration, got also, too. It's also got a commentary by William Friedkin, which oh, is wow. pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, Psycho has the making of Psycho, a feature out about the sound of Psycho, which is classic. It has the shower yeah. scene with and without the music, which is one of the most classic yep. sort of demonstrations of the power of Definitely. the score. And probably one of the best horror movies. It's got newsreel footage of the release of Psycho. Wow, so it's got cool. lots of lots of cool stuff. It's got the birds with a uh, deleted scene and the original ending, huh. which I'm curious to check out both hmm. of. Um, you know, just tons and tons of stuff, including like uh, another one, Topaz, has an alternate ending, huh. and it has a appreciation by Leonard Moulton. Oh. So 
There you have Still that. Still kicking. Yep. So I think the whole thing is a couple hundred dollars, huh. as I recall. But, you know, if you're a Hitchcock enthusiast, yes. if you want to be a Hitchcock enthusiast, yes. if you want to understand Hitchcock, this is probably, probably one of the best opportunities yes. you have to sort of catch up on the world if you're one of, of those people that likes uh you know wants to dive into it but maybe doesn't want to get absolutely everything because you're not sure because i don't think this has every film of his right it just I has don't probably so. most of the yeah. hits probably leaves a few stragglers by the wayside so for collectors maybe not the best but I, if you want to get into hitchcock this is probably one written. of the best collections hmm. that are available of his i mean it has pretty much all the gangbusters i think there's some early ones that were like lost and just found that were released hmm. a little while back Interesting. as i recall but like this 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 will, is pretty darn comprehensive and if you're a fan this is a great great do you uh, know if it has 39 steps in it just it does not curiosity. but that's criterion ah that so that okay. so there are a few Makes there are sense. a few that aren't yeah. there but in terms of like the vast majority this is this is going to get you started. Yep. If you haven't already, you know, if you have a lot already, I don't know if it's necessarily double dippable, but it's probably pretty darn close yeah. if you ask me. With all those special features on special there. Special features, yeah. tons of films. If you have Hitchcock. like a bunch of old ones where you just have like maybe old DVDs that don't have too much special features, might be a time to upgrade. I, I seriously suggest that. <laughs> yeah, tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, join us for our next episode where we talk about Russell Crowe mm -hmm. in honor of the man with the iron fists. Yeah, yeah. Ch -ch 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 and as always, you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, we're on Blip, we're on Miro, we're on Roku. You can check in and get glue. You can tell us where we should be. Leave us reviews, iTunes. Yes, oh, we love those. We love the reviews. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you next time. Stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.